Hey guys, what's up? So Hizu here with Fire Yoga Fitness and Martial Arts. Just want to do a couple of stretching exercises you can do. Um, I'm going to do the ones that I do personally, specifically. I'm just going to go over them real quick. I'm at a hotel fitness center and I can't be in here too much longer. So I'm just going to do this video real quick for you. Some toe touches. far, go behind the legs and the shins, you can pull yourselves down, a little further out, bend knees a little bit, straighten them, that twist, the body twist, To go onto the ground. One foot in, one foot out. Stretch towards the one that's out more. Hold for about 30 seconds to a minute. If you're doing this on your own time, you can do these stretches for longer. And switching sides. As you get, as you get more, as you get better, can you one one hand? Let you do two hands. Pull yourself in. You should feel a stretch in your hamstring, a little bit of your calf, and the opposite lower back. Do butterfly, butterfly switch, stretch. Pull it in as best you can. Try to push your knees towards the, towards the ground. I mean, I like to pull myself in. Use my forearms as leverage while I'm pulling my toes up with my hands. Got that stretch. And then do one cross. One foot crossed over, stretch opposite. And for you martial artists, jiu-jitsu jiu 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 people, grapplers, and whoever, you can stretch a little bit more, grab the straight leg, and give yourself a little bit of an arm bar. Gives you leverage for the stretch, but also you get used to that feeling of your elbow getting stretched a little bit with control. Don't actually break your own elbow. Same foot, pull it in, stretches the glute muscles, the butt muscles. And for, again, for you grapplers, you can practice your rubber guard here. And if you're not can't get all the way around, that's fine. You can just do this if that works. If you can if you can grab your, your other leg at all, that's good. And then kind of twist yourself. Now this stretches the muscles and the abdominals and a little bit of the lower back. This is not to stretch the spine per se. Or twist not to twist the spine, but to stretch the muscles around it. Again, pull a leg in. And then, just gonna do one foot forward, one foot back. And just stretch the front hip. It's right up in the front hip muscles. Here, put get extra leverage putting the same arm on the same leg, and then just kind of push that, push the extended hip, this extended leg out more, put some pressure on that. You can kind of twist it, twist just a little bit, and 
back to stretch. And once you're there, you can put the knee down. Grab opposite hand, opposite foot, reach around, and grab the foot. If you can only get to like here, that's fine. But we want to we want to start to lean forward. That's gonna that's where the stretch in the quad muscles is gonna come. And don't forget your breathing with all ever all your exercises or stretches. here. This one might be a little bit challenging for some of you, but we're going to come here and we're going to pivot. Now the back leg is still extended, toe up, forward foot, heel down all the way. I'm using my hand as support. And this is stretching the inner hip muscles of the leg I'm sitting on, and it stretches the hamstrings and inner thigh of the extended leg. Hit back towards the front. Point your toe up, and push the other leg back. This is gonna stretch that glute muscle like we were doing before, but it's gonna give you more leverage. And kind of find your sweet spot where the where you can feel the pressure and let that muscle stretch. Down the dog. I can stretch the calves a little bit. Switching legs. Do the seal stretch. Same leg, arm on top of the same leg that's being supported, or that's supporting. Extended leg is the one that's getting stretched. That front, front hip. Gotta give it a little twist, give it a little extra pressure. You can do the knee down. And pull again. Opposite hand, opposite of the extending leg. Pull it in, and you want to lean forward. Stretch out the quad muscles. And then you do that coming forward, you pivot. And have you, you have one hand supporting me underneath. You don't necessarily don't always need the support once you get there. You just get used to this, your body weight giving you a stretch. The toes should be pointed up. Leg forward. Toe pointed forward. Leg still extended back. Stretch the glute muscles, the butt muscle. Come back up. Go back to the downward dog. Stretch those calves again. There's one I forgot. Pike stretch, or two, two, I forgot the pike stretch. Feet forward, grab if you can. 
and then the other knees are bent up and grab and I can push them out or if you don't need to do that through here and just reach and grab you can pull yourself in if you need it if you're able to remember to and remember to breathe exhale on the stretch yourself a little bit that's for good otherwise just kind of put your arms out stretch remember this is where you want to do that breathing also inhale exhale inhale exhale and you can go to one side Can go to the other side again all these stretches you can do at your own time at your own pace just going over the stretches that i like to do personally and then for our arms one arm locks behind the other one one arm straight one arm locks behind the elbow you want to pull Same arm, reach back. Again, switch arms. And then elbow back. And then for the forearms. Rotate one arm up, palm facing out. Take other hand, grab thumb on top, to the palm, and slightly pull in. This is going to stretch the forearm. And then we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to do it a different, from a different um, direction. Palm up. This hand is going to grab behind. Grab your own hand from behind, from the back of the hand, and you're gonna pivot outwards and in. So this hand is here. This hand is gonna pivot. Twist. And the same hand. Extend the fingers out. This hand is gonna grab all four fingers and pull back. These are all forearm stretches. Same for the other hand. hand the hand twists. Hand thumb up top. Grab. And pull towards you. Again, this is a forearm stretch. I'm going to switch. Pivot the hand the other way. And grab the back of my hand. Twist and pull into me. And then again, fingers forward, forward and down. Other hand grabs the four fingers and pull back. Alright, so that's most of those stretches. A couple more I'm going to show. Stretch here for the for the calf. Put one foot on the wall. Your toes up as high as you can go. Um, heel on the ground, and you're gonna lean forward. And let your make sure you're relaxing your muscle so you can get the stretch in. I'm gonna switch. Okay, 
you go down, toes on the wall, push, lean forward. Right, you should feel it right in the calves. And that's most of it. All right, that's most of the stretching that I do. Um, there's a few other things I do, but I might get into those another time. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the stretching. Um, hoping these are helpful for you. And I'll catch you guys later. So, Hizo out.